Buccaneers in the site of the Atlantic Sun Conference Tournament in a few weeks and trying to get another win on the Mercer Bears floor. Of course, Isaiah Brown in his senior season, along with Adam Salazzo, want to go back to the NCAA Tournament. They'll have to go through this building to do it, and they'll certainly have to go through guys like Jake Gollin and the very effective scoring offense that Bob Hoffman of the Mercer Bears have put together. Of course, Hoffman known for his fiery disposition, actually rather tame, relatively speaking, in this one. Early on, ETSU scores the first couple of buckets of the game, and this one worth another look. What a great pass by Salazzo, finding Sheldon Cooley on the fast break. Cooley would finish with six points, still in the first half. Jarvis Jones trying to set the tone from long range. He would hit over there in the corner in front of the Mercer bench. And then a little bit later in the first half, this is Tommy Hubbard somehow got the ball to like die on the back of the rim and spin it back and in. Marcus DeBose driving baseline and then doing what he does best, shooting from the corner, DeBose for three. He would finish with those five points off the bench on two of six shooting. Not a lot of bench points for ETSU though. Those were the only five bench points trailing by seven at the half in a game where neither team made more than 10 field goals in any half. Salazzo put the jumper in and then watch Adam Salazzo fly in and follow the hook shot by Isaiah Brown. He would lead ETSU with 13 points. Brown, nice spin move, will put it up and in off the glass. He hit the free throw on the other side and that got the Bucks back to within one possession. Jarvis Jones then, again picking it up from beyond the arc. He made three threes in this one. Here's another one, watch the head fake and then he'll hit, take a long range three pointer. Jones with 11 points, three of eight from long range in the contest. However, in the waning moments, Mercer trying to pull away, Salazzo would go up and in and rattle that one home, but that was one of the few shots that rattled and actually did fall as a lid on the bucket for most of the night, and the Bucks fall by a final score, 54 to 46, in a very low scoring affair. From Macon, Georgia, John Stevens.